Line angles, structural formulas for alkenes. As the molecules get larger, the line angle structures become more and more useful. And it's important to be able to look at these line angle structures and understand what they represent. They're much faster to draw. And once you um, get an eye for them, they're actually a lot easier to look at than the, even the condensed structural formulas. So let's just look at these. These are some of the smaller um, alkenes. Here we've got propene that has one, two, three carbons. Three carbons was propane. And this has a double bond, so it becomes propene. We don't need a number because the double bond can only start on the first carbon. Over here we have butene, one butene. So one, two, th three, four four carbons, butane, double bond becomes butene, and this one is one butene. What would two butene look like? It would have the double bond in the middle, right? So here's butane, and if we put the double bond in the middle, then that's two butene. Pardon me? They, they use one here because there's another one. These two are different. And so if we just said butene, it might be a little confusing which one we mean. This one, there is no two propene. There's only the one. And so then we can leave the one off. This is one pentene. Again, we've got five carbons. So pentane becomes pentene. And now we could have some different isomers, we'll talk about those in a, in a minute, by, based on where the double bond is. This is one hexene, six carbons with the double bond at the end. So those are the straight chain alkenes. And then we get some with substituents on them. This one's name is 3,5-dimethyl-1-hexene. Hexene tells us that there are six carbons here. The double bond is on the first carbon to the second carbon. Dimethyl tells us two methyl groups, one on carbon 3, one on carbon 5. So there's 3 and there's 5. Remember that at the end of each line is a carbon atom with however many hydrogens it needs to have its octet be full. Question? So um, you only need to, to write, you have to write the number for alkenes, but like cycle, cycle Yeah, so the question is, we, we write a number for the straight chain alkenes, but not for the cycloalkenes. Yes, for the cycloalkenes, if there's only one double bond, then we don't need to write a number because we would always start on carbon one with the double bond. So, so there could be like a, a, a four pentene? Um, yes, well, there can be other numbers with the pentene. So let's, um, let's see what we could come up with here. If we put the double bond here, um, that would be 2-pentene, right? This would be carbon 1 and 2, so that would be 2-pentene. Um, we're never actually going to have a 4-pentene, right? And we're not even going to have a 3-pentene. Because if we put the double bond here and count from the left, we would have 1, 2, 3, but if we count from the right, 1, 2, that's still... 2 pentene. So it can be a little hard to predict how many variations there are. Usually the simplest thing is to just start drawing them. This guy over here, again when we're naming these we're looking for the longest chain. So here we see the longest chain numbered, it's 5, and it has to have the double bond. We can find a longer chain here if we started here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 but that can't be the parent chain because it has to include the double bond. So this is a pentene. The double bond is between carbon 1 and 2, one pentene. And then we look at the substituents. We've got a methyl group on 3, and this is an ethyl group on 2. 2 ethyl because E comes before M in the alphabet. Down here we have an example of um, dienes. So this is 1,4-pentadiene. 
there's a double bond on one and a double bond on four. One, four. You could have one, three also, couldn't you? This is two methyl, one, three butadiene. So here we have um, four carbons, double bond starting. Um, we're numbering from the left. One, two, three, four. We're numbering from the left because we want this methyl group to be on the two. If we numbered the other way, it would end up on the three, and that wouldn't be as good. Any questions about those guys?